Yes, we are ready to conquer this year 2011. Hey guys, Roberto Monaco here, your buddy with Influenceology. And we are cooking some good, 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 good food for you guys in 2011. Just watch out. My business partner, Jeff Perro, and I have like some awesome, 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 exciting news coming up in the pipeline. But before, I just want to record this quick video to wish you a phenomenal, phenomenal 2011. I'm sure at this point, you already have your goals. I'm sure at this point, you already made some New Year resolution. I'm sure at this point, you already are changing the course of your life or taking your life, your business, relationships, your health to a whole new level. And we want to wish you a legendary life. Now, here's the thing that I noticed throughout the years is that people, they have so much energy, so much focus, desire to change their lives. And they most people don't do it. And I study change in a small, small scale and big scale. And there's an expert called John Carter. He's the number one expert in large change. And he said that the number one, the, the number one thing for change to happen is for people to have sense of urgency. Without sense of urgency, you won't change. You won't execute it. So I want to show you this graph. I, I pulled this from the internet. It's the list by the United Nations about life expectancy in every single country in the world. Right? And I copy and paste a select here for you to show you. United States uh, is right next to Cuba, right? And uh, the average life expectancy of a man is 75.6 years. And the life expectancy of a woman is 80. Right? Think about that. How crazy is that? That's updated information. Now, of course, now as medicine and health and, and the pills, right? And we, our awareness, we become more aware of taking care of ourselves and the life expectancy grows 5, 10, 20 years in the future. We we'll, Look, the fact is that we won't be here for long. We know that. We heard about a hundred times. But until we really get this message, we won't have urgency, real urgency to change our lives. Now, a long, long time ago, my buddy Michael King, we had a conversation and uh, we have a story actually tell in the workshops, but I want to make sure if you've never been to a workshop, you make sure you get this message. And I want to use myself an example here. I was born in 1970, right there, date of birth, Roberto Monaco, and I'm 40, right? Looking good for 40, so excited. I've never been happy in my life, I'm 40. Now it's 2011, I'm going to be 41 in August 8th. Now, I have an amazing, awesome life. I really, truly am very blessed. I'm very, like anybody else, I had my challenges, but I love my life. I truly, uh, the happiest has been ever. I'm 40, I'm so excited about everything that's going on in my life. But if I, if I were to do the math, right? If the average life expectancy for a man is 75.6 years, and I'm 40, what that means is I have 35 years left. And if I multiply by that by 365, Guess what, gang? I, Roberto Monaco, I have 12,994 days left. Think about that for a second. Now, of course, I'm a speaker, I'm a coach, I'm a leader, I'm an influenceologist. I'm saying, screw that 75. I want to go to 100. Right? I don't want to live only 1,294 days. Come on. I want to go, I'm a achiever. Right? I want to live 100 years. Everybody's like, yeah, I want to be a centenarian. I want to live 100 years. Well, do the math, Roberto. Do the math. 100 minus 40 is 60 times 365 is what? 21,900 days. 21,900 days. That's a very good scenario. Right? So how Roberto Monaco, in my case... I'm sure at this point you're thinking, how many days I have left in my life, right? How am I going to maximize the next 21,900 days of my life daily? How am I going to do that? Isn't that a good question? How am I going to keep having an awesome life and take it to a whole new level? How do you take an awesome life to a whole new level? Well, you create a legendary life. You create an amazing life. And without getting too much details here, because I don't have three days, but I'm going to give you a couple minutes, I focus on three primary things to have a ma massive, legendary, fun, awesome, excellent, extraordinary life. Number one, I really spent time in the last, you know, five, six, eight years I've been involved uh, doing speaking and training, coaching on my purpose, right? Why I exist. 
Why do you exist? What is the reason that you're here for? What is your purpose? Right. There's so many books out there, so many questions you can be asking yourself right now. But really, if you're not stoked about your purpose, the reason you were here for, right? To raise your family, to take care of your kids, to be a leader in a community, to grow a business, whatever your purpose is, whatever makes you stoked and happy and fulfilled, then take the time now to do it. Because you can set your goals Right? Making money and lose weight. And that's, I mean, that's critical. You have to do it. But I believe purpose is bigger because purpose is going to cause you to do the stuff that you don't want to do. Purpose is going to want to keep awake in the evening sometimes when you're excited and going to cause you to wake up in the morning, fired up, and deal with the stuff because we all have to deal with stuff. We all have it. Purpose, we are allowed to do that. If you, know, if you don't know what your purpose is, your life purpose is, there's nothing. I say, Nothing more important than figure out that part. The second part that I focus on is to live in my values. And I give a lot of the credit for that for Tony Robbins, who taught me how to really figure out my value system and not only figure out the values, but live them. Now, me personally, what's most important to me in my life is my values, right? It's health, is love, is positive impact, is growth and success. So on a daily basis, if I do things that I feel healthier, if I do things that I feel love and connection, my, my personal relationships with my family, my friends, if I feel like I'm impacting people, that's why I'm recording this video right now. If I feel like I'm personally growing, right? Emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, physically, and I feel like I'm accomplishing my, my professional goals, my career, I live what's most important to me, my value system, so that I feel on fire. People say, oh, brother, how come you're so motivated? I don't believe motivation. Motivation is crap. I believe in figure out what's important to me, to you, to my clients, and just live that stuff because that's going to make you fulfill, happy, and ecstatic. Right? And the third thing, once I know my purpose, once I know I'm clear about my values, what's important to me and for you, what's really important to you in your life, and you live that, you got to do daily action to make sure you live your purpose daily and you follow your values daily daily guys because that way if you do that you will have a legendary awesome meaningful life and hopefully my next 21,900 days are going to be just on fire and that's the same wish I have for you because we all deserve it so remember there's nothing more important for you at this time to figure out your purpose what's your values and then you put your goals Make sure your goals, those goals, the new year resolutions, they support your purpose and they support your values. Otherwise, they're just goals you put on a paper and a month from now, you're going to forget it. And I just want to leave with this story. And I want to give credit to a guy who changed my life, also Les Brown. He has this awesome, awesome story. I'm sure if you've been to a Influenceology event, you've heard this story hundreds of times. And I always want to give credit to Les. Les said, I was at one of his events, he said that, hey, uh, people ask me what is the richest place on the planet and some people think that the richest place on the planet it is in America when you have the technology it is in Brazil where you can find the natural resources it is in South Africa we can find the gold the diamonds and let's say that the richest place on the planet it is not in Brazil is not in South Africa not in America the richest place on the planet it is on the cemetery because it is on the cemetery you're going to find the books that were never written. You're going to find the businesses that were never created. You're going to find the relationships that were never formed. You're going to find the dreams that were never pursued. Don't bury your dreams with you. Live full, die empty. Thanks, Liz, for sharing this story with me. And that's the message here for you. Live full, die empty, guys, by number one. Figure out what's the reason here. What's your purpose? Nothing more important than that. Number two, figure out what you value most, your value system, and make sure once you're clear about your value, you live them daily so that from this point on, for the next 100 years or 150 years or, or 30 years or 50 years, you maximize your life and you have a legendary life. Thanks so much. I see you at Influenceology page or Influenceology event. Guys, have an awesome, awesome 2011.